Hello YouTube, it's your boy Swagging Your Bags. Today we're talking about Trevelyn Queen. Now, I don't know anything about this guy. Of course, I broke down the highlights right here, so I was able to learn that he's a shooter. Very athletic, by the way. He goes about 6'6". Six, six. Has a 6'6 six, six wingspan, so not a 7-foot wingspan or anything like that. He's not going to be that defender that Robert Covington was for us or that defender that maybe Eric Gordon and House are. To be determined, though, we don't know at this point. But one thing that Queen does very well is shoot the ball slash. He kind of reminds me of Zach Levine. I don't know if that's a fair comparison, but just off the rip of what I'm saying, he looks a lot like Levine. He has that athleticism. doesn't have that vertical, but look, he can just create his own shot. He can get to the rim. Very athletic. Nice off-ball player. He's moving, cutting. I pulled up his scouting report. It says that he's a smooth, fluid athlete who finishes above the rim. He stops on a dime to shoot transition threes, 38.7% three-point shooter, long shot put, a stroke, better at attacking closeouts via run-through than catch up and rip, solid pick-and-roll passer, but doesn't score it well enough to demand volume. Skip ahead a little bit, take a look at his defensive, uh, what he brings to the table on that side of the ball, so... Phenomenally high steal rate, statistically impactful, loves to shoot passing lanes for pick six opportunities, great with and controlled contest in 1v1 situations, opportunistic, weak side shot blocker with good feel for rotations, upside as someone who can guard point guards and use length to bother. Once again, he's six foot six. He actually is 23 years old. I wonder if that played into why he went undrafted. Maybe, maybe not. Not that 23 is old because it's still very young. Very young. But for a player coming out of the draft, I mean, look, Kenny Martin uh, Jr., 19 years old. And then, of course, Mason Jones, same age as me, 21 years old. And we got his highlights here. Now, overall, I, I do like this kid. I can see how he is known as one of the best undrafted players. I'm thankful that he was able to find a home in Houston. I know that he went through a lot growing up, homeless, hungry, all of that. He has an opportunity in Houston. I don't know how much playing time or minutes he's going to get just because the Rockets are so stacked at guard. You have to look at Russell Westbrook, James Harden, Mason Jones is going to see some time, Eric Gordon. Austin Rivers did opt out of his contract, thankfully, which saves the Rockets some money. Austin Rivers just was not a good player for us last season. The year before was great. I don't know what happened. I think it has to do with Antonio. He just wasn't a fan of Rivers, but just having Harden and Russ on the roster, those guys require 35 plus minutes a game. So it's going to be hard to get in there because when you are in there, you're going to probably be playing a small forward. I mean, Eric Gordon, Harden, or Russ, all of those guys, at least one, if not two of them are always going to be on the court. I don't know if Eric Gordon will be back. I know a lot of you guys are hoping that he's traded. I, as am I, Christian Wood is a big man, but he's going to be coming in. There's, there's not a lot of opportunity. I mean, I know that Mason Jones has opportunity because he's a lethal shooter, especially... As a spot-up shooter, he could just catch and shoot all day with Harden and Russ. They're going to penetrate and kick it to the corner to Jones. Mason Jones, off of playing with Harden and Russ, primarily will be a spot-up shooter. We won't really get to see him create up the, the dribble just because Steven Silas said himself that there's still going to be a lot of isolation through his star players, which there really should be because that's how he utilized them best. It's isolation. Now, it shouldn't be to the magnitude of Harden leading the league in usage or Russ leading the league in usage. I think they should try to bring in a big man and run more pick and roll. If they can get like a Clint Capella, Steven Adams, a Christian Wood, a guy like of that caliber, maybe even Aaron Baines, that would be very good for them moving forward. So we'll see what happens. Once again, Trevlin Queen, he does look good. He's a good shooter. He gets into the passing lanes. He does remind me a lot actually of Mason Jones, but more athletic. So I hope both of these guys make the team. I hope they get playing time. It's going to be fun. They were undrafted as well. So congratulations to them for being picked up by the Rockets. They're in a very offense-heavy team where they are going to be encouraged to shoot the ball. So I think that's very good for a young player. It's your boy Swaggy signing out, guys. Hope you have a great rest of your night. Peace.